Hey everybody, this is the Stupid Genius 55, isn't it? <coughs> uh, hi everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, don't worry, I'm not actually, uh, not happy about that. Um, in fact, I'm, it's, I assume you probably are happy that I was gone a couple weeks, but, yeah, I was gone a couple weeks. <laughs> well, then again, I guess I forgot to make that video public, uh, for the last episode of the, kind of the filler LP, so, if... You didn't already see that comment I posted where I linked you to the unlisted video in the meantime, and you didn't watch it until, like, I made it public. Sorry about that. In the last episode, we got here to Eterna Forest, and I kind of forgot about this when I was going to start up this, uh... This will be done as a side project from now on. This Cheryl here heals my Pokémon, and I'm not supposed to use the heal desk or anything, so... Whoops! This is just a good opportunity to train, I guess. And I did. But when I said that I train up all of them, I actually, I f since then I checked the levels of Gardenia, the gym leader, and they're a bit lower than I th remembered them being. So I couldn't didn't train Firefighter or Ultimate Pikachu Fan One very much. But I did train Eddie and wait, Quirky Nature Eddie. I I named him Eddie, and he ends up having a quirky nature. Okay, but. As you can tell, I replaced a couple of his moves. Supersonic has kind of a low accuracy, so... I'm going to replace it with Confuse Ray when that happens. I read about it on Bulby, and I also had a failed run, so... I also have Wing Attack and Bite. I forget what those replaced with. Oh yeah, Astonish and... No, uh, there wasn't a third move to replace it with, but I kept Leech Life, and I'm kind of reg I kind of regret that one. And I also replaced some of Ultra Pikachu Fan 1, this move, well, one of them, Seismic Toss, I replaced Focus Energy with that. Now they all have their power points rested up, and... There's the exit, and she's relieved, and that, that we got this far, and I obtained the Soothe Bell. Hey, uh, Monferno knows return, so I think that would be good to use on him. Uh... So, what, what, what am I doing here? Uh, I'm supposed to be... Give... Whoops, no. Uh, that was stupid of me. And anyway, it's kind of cool that I was finally able to train up Eddie a bit, since his moves weren't that good. I might have abandoned him, but no, I have a crowbat. I'll fight these guys later. I want to conserve power points for the gym. Kind of funny how this is one time where I'm not going to be training up for, you know, like the gym. It's better to just not do it. Plus, I'll be fighting gym trainers. Firefighter should take... I mean, quite frankly, it's gonna wipe the floor with Gardenia just due to typing. And Eddie's wing attacks can also do good to the gym, so I, I'm, I'm gonna keep Firefighter, because he's so overleveled, I'm gonna keep Firefighter for the gym. Now, I actually want to... Since we're such in such a convenient place, you know, Eterna City and Route 206, I thought I'd mention something. There's... This is Game Freak's first... Uh, Diamond and Pearl, sorry, were Game Freak's very first Pokemon games. I mean, I mean, sorry, nah. Sheesh. They were the first games overall Game Freak ever developed for the DS. And it can kind of... This is why, technically, this game doesn't exactly have as good uh, production values as Black or White or Hargon Soul Silver after it would have. And there's actually a lot of unused music on here. 206 and Eternal City both happen to be some of them. Now, every, like, I think at least 90% of the Pokemon fan base gushes about the music on a regular basis, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'll just say Eternal City is my favorite town music in the game. And it actually has an unused version, which I think I'll edit into the video right here. And so does Route 206. Those are very... Even though I actually do find it kind of interesting, the fact that there's some variants in the music that likely were uh, earlier versions that were scrapped later on, e even though I still, despite the fact that I'm kind of mystified by that a bit, I still don't... I still like the, new, the versions that they implemented better than the original ones, and there's quite a few uh, bits of music that have that. Now... I meant to say 205, whatever I said 206 a while ago, but... <laughs> Jube Life City actually also has a variant that's unused. I don't know if this is exactly a beta, like, a version of the song they were originally going to put in, and then they put in a different one, because... 
it's basically just a Jubilife City's regular theme with some some of the music just like some of the instruments I mean just don't happen <laughs> and if you're like me and if you're like me you're a naughty little boy like me and you use an action replay and use the walk through walls cheat when you're younger with this game and ended up out of the normal bounds of the game and into the mystery zone you would have uh, you might have heard it like in there as well as an unused theme of route 206 which I think you could hear in here if I mean, you could hear the normal theme in here if you went. If you try to go in here, you need to. You'd be still getting your bicycle. That's how they do that. And I'll talk to that guy later. I think I might be able to do what he wants now, but I'm not sure. Enough of that digressing. I just wanted to talk about Eterna City's music. And I do like this theme on a regular. Like, just the regular theme, by the way. And also, we have to. You can go over here to get a secret. Super Potion! By the way, I'm going to go do something in a bit, so I have to keep this kind of short. And I say I have to keep this kind of short, but I don't really speed up much. Uh, I'm Gardenia. I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenge was this awfully speedy young guy. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Buck, right? Nah, it's actually... Seems wow, they had the correct dialogue to respond to me with. It's pretty cool. Tell me about you. So they did another challenger on the way, so he made me fancy. Um... So she's telling us that we have to be all gym trainers. This is kind of weird. Um, in Diamond and Pearl, I actually like the dot most of the, there are a few gyms in this game that are redesigned, and Maylene's gym and Fantina's gym I actually like better in this version. Gardenia's though I actually liked better in Diamond and Pearl, where it was an actual maze, and you had to well, not really. It's not that it was a maze, but you actually had to find the, the trainers were hidden. You had to find them here. They're plainly visible, and you just talk to them. Let's see what Cloud has to say. How's going, champ? To be. Actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in here too earlier, too. And it should be obvious, but fire, grass type will go and really hate fire, and that's who's just disadvantage against the flying type, too. Uh, you can't challenge gym leader unless you be all the gym trainers. It's a bit challenging, but just think about all the good training and go for it. So, let's take on... I'm good with Eddie's wing attack here, so... Right. Without further ado, let's go. This is quite simple dialogue for this trainer, but... Um... Yeah... By the way, uh, if you're... Oh yeah, this is... The clock's gonna start working now. Um, I need to... I do need to apologize for being away for a while. But if you're mad at me for that, which... If you are, why? You should be celebrating that I'm not putting out videos. Um, if you were... I need... Um, I will let you know that I actually tend to hate vacations a lot. So, this actually... Like, if you wanted to punish me, it already came in the form of a vacation. Of the vacation. There's only, like, one vacation I ever had where I actually liked it. And if you, I'm, I made a Let's Play quite a while back of punch Out We, which is still technically going on. I have yet to do some, some videos, I promise. But, uh, I mentioned that I got on a band trip and how it kind of reminds... I kind of associate the game with the band trip that I had to Vancouver. So that was kind of... Um... That that was kind of that was the only vacation ever vacation uh, excuse me ever had that I actually enjoyed so I really don't know why it is because I know a lot of people are gonna hate me for that but yeah I do uh, you can't win when you're distracted by Lovely yeah uh, I'm not distracted by Lovely Romans why am I responding to what the in-game characters are saying oh I, I think I just basically stated almost the entire premise of a let's play. Forget a move. Oh, yes. Get get rid of Supersonic. It has not horrible accuracy. And by the way, for all those Zubats who had Supersonic that people got annoyed with, yeah, that move actually has really low accuracy, so... It's also annoying if you have it. Funnily enough. Paradoxically enough. Now it's possible to walk across the fountain now. Uh, let's go to Gardenia. I'm gonna put uh, fi Firefighter as higher speed, and... I'm just going to put him out in front. Let's get the show on the road. And he kept me waiting, and Gardenia is going to challenge us, so... Uh, by the way, I hope I didn't... Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Oh my goodness, that's a good sign. Oh no, you had... Oh wait, Reflector has the entire team's defense. Well, then again, Flame Wheel is special, I believe. Ember special, this is physical. Flame wheel is physical. Ugh, oh, shoulda known. Shoulda known. Can't believe a chair M actually did something to me at this state. Wait, it still has reflect. Why? Oh dear. 
Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, it still has Leech Seed. <clears throat> you know what? Eddie needs some experience. I'm putting him in. Who knows what could do? Oh wow, Grass Knot. That didn't do anything. Um. Oh, ah, Super Potion. Dang it. But I was able to use it. So I'm glad Eddie got the experience, too. Ooh. Wow, that wasn't that much. Less than I thought it'd be, considering its level. Um, thanks for the compliments, Gardenia. Oh, yeah, and I guess if you haven't noticed... Um, so I don't see why I either... Both that I need to point this out, and that I didn't do it earlier, but yeah, new layout. Uh, same one I use for... Well, I mean, not, not that it's fancy or anything. It's just what I used for... It's, it's just the way I oriented this, the screens in my when I uploaded the cutscenes. Well, I still have to upload more of them, but while I'm uploading cutscenes of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, Explores the Sky. Oh yeah, let's talk to Clyde and see what he has to say. Hi, Chris. You've beaten the gym leader, and your Pokemon look much tougher than when they went into. Uh, like, they, they two of them gained, like, one level, I mean, each, so... I don't s quite see how it'd make that big a difference, and oh yikes! I, I need to use my paralyze heal. Well, not not th not that I'd really be using it that much, but so I guess it's not that big a loss. But yeah. now we need to go do something to get the HM for cut because we need cut to enter Team Galactic's building. Let's see what he has to say. I thought this wait, Eternity is not like it was before, way back in the day, but it's supposed to be like a city of old. Oh, okay, I see. Tall buildings. Doesn't look that old. The city's atmosphere has gotten all creepy and tense. See? Told you that they're... But we should go to the thing. Let's see what this galactic grunt has to say. And, hello, trainer. Er, never mind, you look tough. This game seems to flip-flop on whether it considers you a tough-looking trainer or a trainer who is weak-looking and therefore an underdog. Now, we have Barry coming here. We need to do this to get uh, the HM for cut, which, as you can see above, we need for that. Oh yeah, Pokemon statue, this is, uh, where he's taking us. <coughs> what the? So this is a turn as Pokemon statue? <coughs> wow, shaping our world, um, I think that's, uh... So... It, it's used to have an inscription on it, uh, depending on whether, it would change with, depending on whether or not you're playing Diamond and Pearl. So the way they cleverly did this, oh, oh god, this. And he's going to become a great trainer? Yeah, that. Alright, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. This wasn't in Diamond and Pearl, by the way. <laughs> um, the way that you'll do that, you'll never lose. You'll be the invincible trainer. Wait, trainer is a proper noun. Okay, first of all, I was gonna call you out in the kind of idiocy, and that's that's the goal. You're not telling us how to get to the goal. But why is trainer capitalized, Barry? This isn't Mario 63. Why are prop only proper nouns are like uh, trainer is not a proper noun. It's a common noun. This is an awesome Pokemon that people saw long ago. And as you can see, the inscription is ripped off. Or, no, no, now you can see the inscription is ripped off. I said that too early. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Um. If you talk to this this guy, he'll give you the description. Uh, someone ripped off the description. I want to know what it said. Yeah, he'll recite what both of them said. Uh, they're actually both surprisingly complete, except for they won't tell. They'll just say "dia" instead of "dialga." These versions, I thought I remembered them being a bit, unless you know those ellipses like between "giver of time" were supposed to. Maybe those contain some words that some other words that are not supposed to. Be. In laughter, there's tears, and likewise, the sea same time flows. The blessing of dialga. But maybe there's, like, what I'm saying is maybe there's a word before the in this. Uh huh, yeah. So, he says big chunk, so I think that there's actually other words besides, you know, the algo that were. I, I just remember the other one I think had more, but maybe. Ha had, like, more of the actual message concealed, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that device you have. Is it a Pokedex? Wow, it brings back some memories. By the way, this is what I was, uh. where we get cut, huh? <laughs> Pardon me, but what is your name? Oh, hello, Chris. I'm sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I'm studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Why oh, no, try to help using this. It should be helpful. 
Okay, I sounded so out of it there, trying to imitate her voice. Uh, letting us go to places. Even though, so I have to go somewhere, but I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Sorry I've been on a hiatus, on a, away from her for a while, but thanks.